This place can be home to nothing but mosquitoes. We must inspect the wood for the fleet, Guilank. Far too delicate a job to entrust to anyone else. And after all, you and mosquitoes have a lot in common, don't you? Look at this. The river Rajang flows down from the Kiltar Mountains into the sea a few miles from Labuan. That's how the diamonds end up in Governor Brook's coffers. That's, That's a well-kept secret. Aside from us, nobody knows about the diamonds. The only thing solid in that area is the wood of the durian tree. The timber business, of course. That's his cover. Mm. Huh? <laughs> Never trust appearances, right, Paco? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to inspect the dam too, sir? I hadn't thought about it, but now that you mention it, I'll send you to take a Me look. In my big fat mouth. Signal that we've arrived. Welcome, Lord Brook. We are honored by your visit and a bit surprised. As I intended. I hope you have some excuse for those three wretched stones you sent me last time. Mm. Relunk, get straight to work. I want to know if there are any termites. Litang and I have matters to discuss, and your presence will not be required. You may go. I would have felt a lot better if I could have gone along with them. I feel exactly the same way they'll need my strong arms in the jungles of Borneo. You two can stop your whining and complaining right now. It's only a reconnaissance mission, as you both know. How very splendid. This isn't the lot, I trust. Huh? That's the entire shipment that arrived from Kiltar. There are more diamonds there than there are flies on this dung heap. We don't have the men to mine them. When our friend Raja gets bored, he kills them. He either has their heads cut off or he hangs them. I didn't know his insanity had reached such proportions. So what can we do? Eliminate him. If I were handling his end of the deal, you wouldn't have a problem. My, aren't we cunning, Litang? You'd take the throne and the diamonds. Only a savage like that Dyer couldn't know the value of these stones. You find more men, Li Tang, and I'll give you double what you've been getting. Right now, the only complication I see is Paco getting indigestion from eating too many mosquitoes. We're in Dayak territory. That's the problem. I saw something move over there. <laughs> a harmless wild boar. Perhaps you don't realize that the Dayaks are the fiercest and most courageous warriors in all of Borneo. It's a reputation they don't deserve. They attacked the palace of Kiltar like cowards under cover of night. If they'd acted like men, my father would have stopped them before they killed everyone. Not everyone, little brother. They didn't get you. <laughs> Aranoa, you have passed the first test. You will now go into the jungle and capture the first prey you find. When you return, it shall be offered in sacrifice to the great god Juwada. Here, son, receive your weapons. Do this and everybody will know you are the chosen of Juwada. That 
was a rifle shot. Pull in behind those reeds, quick! Who are you? That was my prey to be sacrificed to Yuvata! Was is the right word. Now it is our dinner. We will sacrifice the boar to our bellies! <laughs> <laughs> I must become a warrior! We're ready, Sandokan. We're ready too. Good. That shot can't have come from far away. Let's get going. Well, what do you say, Governor? I think he will make an excellent miner. You were lucky with the first one. He walked right into your arms, but you'll have to sweat for the others. After 20 years in this hellhole, I sweat well. My father will come looking for me with all the men in the village. The sooner the better. That's the workforce we need. He'll have your heads on spike poles. I'd worry about my own head if I were you, lad. Terrible all the flies in this room. Actually, whips are most inefficient fly swatters, don't you think, Litang? No one may treat Hyrundo's son this way and live to tell about it. If he dares show his face here, he'll get the same treatment his son did. These miserable mosquitoes are eating me alive. I keep telling you, smeared the frog droppings work wonders. For my part, I'll take the sting over the stink. When do we start the attack? The first thing to do is to find out exactly what's happening in there. We set off dynamite all around, and that's the end of it. No, we'll wait for dark before moving in. <laughs> the clay's insect repellent and camouflage. It'll be hard to find out what's inside the palisade without knocking it down. We'll check out the perimeter. You never know, there might be a rotten board or a knot hole. You and Sam Biglion, keep an eye on the main gate. If Stink Bomb here takes a bath first... So sorry, water is bad for my rheumatism. What we really need is a good observation point from above. <laughs> Hey, quit that! You're smearing my camouflage! I know comedians are masters of disguise, but give me a break, Paco. Why, so uh, agitated, Governor. Uh, uh, remember all the problems with the former Raja? Well, you found the perfect solution to them. A night attack by the Dyax. No one guessed the truth. I Rondo knows. He's Nesambata's brother, and he was there with us that night, but at the last moment he withdrew his support for the raid. Blast him. Even if he were to open his mouth, who'd believe him after all these years? Someone who survived that night by accident. Keep in mind, sir, that Herondo is a mere mortal. I'm sure you take my meaning. Maybe he needs help carrying his prey. Our son is strong, but his arms are still those of a boy. Well then, take some in and help him. You are, as always, a source of good advice. Wives often see things more clearly than their husbands. That's a lot of men just to guard timber. But that's still no proof that the diamonds are there. <laughs> Spy missions get on my nerves. What I need is a little action. Impatience is the downfall of the weak. Ah, that's what I call pretty deep. Ah, oh, at last, here they come. We checked all around. There are some rotten boars on the north side. They blocked the hole with a barrel, but it's easily pushed aside. Well, I guess we'll find out what we should do as soon as Sandokan gets back. The biggest fish always waits longest to take the bait. That's what Makassar told me. I wonder who those two are. I wish I knew what they were talking about. Huh? Brooke, he must be here for the diamonds. Another footprint! Paranoa came this way! Got a surprise coming, Brooke. Those diamonds will be the death of you. How about that? An eclipse might come in useful. 
Worst of omens, we are at last to be punished for the evil done by my brother Nasumbata. Quick, take him back to the village. Maybe the medicine man can help us. An unlucky omen. An eclipse is a perfectly natural phenomenon. Natural or not, it's still unlucky. Ah, fools. Speaking of superstitions, what has happened to your Zook? Yes, you could use it to find out whether Sanokan is in any trouble and needs our help. It won't work without moonlight. I think we'd better go looking for them. Is this the way you perform your duty? Yes, sir. N no, sir. I checked the lumber most carefully and found 76 termites. Well done, Lord Guilonk. I worked quickly, sir, so we could leave. Tomorrow. I promised Li Tang we'd do a little hunting together. You were also supposed to inspect the dam. I hope you hadn't forgotten. Of course not, sir. Huh. It's his sword. That's a Dayak dart with the poison they use. The footprints are still fresh. They're heading towards the north. Let's go. They can't have traveled very far. Aruta watam kine, you wata sine batam. Aruta watam kine, you wata sine batam. Aruta wata kine, you wata sine batam. Haili hoili taram. Isn't your magic powerful enough, Bazir? My magic is the most powerful in all of Borneo. Then why is your staff not pleading? Why does the fire not consume him? Because of his spirit. It is good. He is not the bearer of evil. But Nasumbata sent him. That is the symbol of Kilda. Why in God's name are the Dayaks attacking us? Yes, indeed. Fire! If your idea of finding Hybrunda works... It'll work. It's the only thing that will. Hey, wake up! Brought you some breakfast! Maybe you would have preferred some roast boar. Well, we ate it all. around in circles for hours. If one of you wants to be the leader, you're welcome to take over. Let's get on with it. I'm ready to follow any path you choose. <coughs> Thank you for your vote of confidence, Saint-Billion. I just want to find Sandukan, and soon. This medallion was left to me by my father, and it's all I have from him. You should know who he was. It was your arrows that killed him. He who did that deed covered the Dayaks in shame, but there are honest men among us. The Raja of Kiltar had the courage of a tiger. Show us you are his son, and I offer you my life.
Tawata has sent me the Raja's son so I can atone for my brother's crime. Now you can take revenge for your father's death. The truth runs deep in the stream and is not always easy to catch. <gasps> Were you there that night? I tried to dissuade them, Sandokan. But I pleaded weakly. I was too fearful of my brother Masumbata's wrath. Fear is not guilt. Only the guilty ones will pay. When you go to reconquer Kiltar, if you allow it, we will be at your side. Then we will see each other again. <laughs> He forgave you. Now you can forgive yourself. Father! You're exhausted, son. My prey escaped me, father. I failed. Fortunately, the boy showed us the way. What an absolutely ridiculous place to build a settlement. Here, look. And a nasty place to be trapped in. Right here. Now I can stop worrying. That Hyrundo could have caused me problems. Burning down an entire village for that reason is a bit excessive. Why, by Jove, those savages don't even have souls. Their wretched lives are worth no more than a mosquito's. Be a man and admit it. You had already lost Sandokan's tracks last night. I'm not taking another step until you tell us where you're leaving us. And you're not either. I never thought you'd all get so upset over a little walk in the woods. One more remark like that and I'll stuff it down your throat. Well, fancy running into you here. What's going on? Sandokan! I knew that if we didn't find you, you'd find us. What in the world happened to you? Well, let's just say I almost settled an old score. But right now, we don't have a moment to lose. We have a job to finish. And what's more, we'll put your dynamite to good use. Oh, I almost forgot. This is yours. I confess, I enjoyed looking after it for you. Here's the scabbard. Hold on. That's coming from the village. Hand me the spyglass. Let's see what's going on down there. They've set fire to the village. I don't believe it, it's Sandokan. We have to do something. Let's reach the river first and prepare a surprise for him. Not yet, we have to save the village first. To do that, we need water, and I know where we can find all the water we need. Aruata Watakine, you want a bottom kilo. Aruata Watakine, you want a bottom kilo. Break your water, remove your anger from your people. Send us the water that will save us. We beseech you, you want a. Well, what do you think of the Dyaks now? That they're just like everyone else. They're good ones and bad ones. Well, now I've inspected the dam from top to bottom. It's rock solid. It'll be around for hundreds of years. There. We'd better hurry. It looked like those flames were getting awful close to the village.
is nothing like returning home, eh, Sandokan? I can't wait. They're back! Did you hear? <gasps> Sandokan! Sandokan! I suppose since it was only a spy mission, nothing very exciting happened.